2 evaluate dx by 5 minus uh, 2x square plus 4x integral. This given uh, ax square plus dx plus c. This can you change into the squares of uh, two terms. Sum of squares of two terms. That is some x minus alpha whole square plus beta square or uh, a square minus x minus b whole square like that you have to change sum of uh, two square terms or difference of two square terms uh, why we are changing if you want to change like that then we can apply the formula because we know that integration of uh, dx by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c or integration of dx by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a logarithm of x minus a by x plus a plus c. So this is a quadratic equation. It is possible to change in this uh, like by uh, to apply these formulas you can change the denominator. How how it uh, we can change how um, that we see. Now we will see here 5 minus 2x square plus 4x. This one we write has minus 2x square plus 4x plus 5. You take minus 2 is the common. Then x square minus 4x by 2 minus 5 by 2. Now this uh, you, uh, you write has 4 by 2 is the 2 and the 2, 2 to the 4. Here our next step is minus 2 is common and here x square means x suppose 2ab here 2 into x is there so minus 1 we have to take then we put the whole square x square minus 2x the extra term is we get has here x minus 1 whole square is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1 here no plus 1 is not here. That is the reason you put the minus 1. Then 1, 1 cancel and again your term is only present. So that is the reason you put here minus 1, minus 5 by 2. Then minus 2 into x minus 1 whole square minus 7 by 2. This you write is that, uh, that is this you take and uh, write has uh, this one in the place of uh, this given the problem. Then here integration of dx by 5 minus 2x square plus 4x is equal to integration of dx by minus 2 into x minus 1 whole square minus 7 by 2. This we change has um, that is minus 1 by 2 here minus 1 by 2 uh, integration of uh, dx by d minus 1 by 2 integration of dx by x minus 1 4 square minus a root 7 by 2 whole square here minus 1 by 2 integration of uh, or uh, otherwise uh, you can uh, uh, write it in the form of uh, uh, that is x minus t is equal to some uh, t that is here let uh, x minus 1 is equal to t this implies dx is equal to here t by dx derivative d by dx of x minus 1 is equal to dt by dx x is 1 and 1 is 0 so dx is equal to dt and substituting dt so that is the reason 
what we have here is minus 1 by 2 dt by here t square minus root 7 by root over 7 by 2 whole square dt by t square minus root 7 by 2 whole square this is in the form of uh, here this is in the form form of uh, integral 1 by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a logarithm of mod x minus a by x plus a plus c. You apply this one here. Then what we have here is uh, minus 1 by 2. Minus 1 by 2. Mm, 1 by 2a. 1 by 2a means root 7 by 2. Logarithm of uh, t minus here. Logarithm of t minus a. Root 7 by 2 divided by t plus root 7 by 2 root over 7 by 2 mod plus c this is the answer this is, we have to uh, simplify this one here minus 1 by 2 into 1 by root 2 into root 2 into root 7 by root 2 root 2 root 2 cancel logarithm of uh, um, t t means what we say that t is uh, where x minus 1 so mod x minus 1 plus root 7 by 2 divided by x minus 1 plus root 7 by 2 plus c here we you take that negative into with this take that negative sign this minus sign into the inside then what happens is uh, 1 by minus 1 by 2 root 7 into root 2 is root 14 logarithm of uh, mod x minus 1 and this uh, uh, I th that means that uh, uh, my x minus 1 here is the negative sign actually that I wrote that um, plus but it is negative x t minus 7 so x minus 1 minus root 7 by 2 this main goes minus goes into that one then what happens it becomes as a plus root 7 by 2 and x minus 1 minus root 7 by root over 7 by 2 mod plus c is the answer.